Hey you guys, just a quick little video. I just saw a question from someone on the FileMaker forum and I thought I would make a little example video because it's a very uh, simple, small thing. And the, the person asked, what if you want to show like a little icon, like a check mark or a little tick box, uh, depending on a value that you select. So the first thing we need for that is a value and I've just made a new, uh, new file here with a table called icons. And I just, I'll just i just quickly create an ID, which is a number field. I'll set this to a serial number, auto enter serial number. And then I'll just do a uh, value. Um, let's do, um, yeah, value. I don't know what this is going to be. Anyway, let's make it a text field. Very simple. Okay. Let's add this value field to our layout. We're using our field picker, but you could also just use your uh, field tool to drag down here and then you could also um, specify the fields that you want uh, so those are two different ways to add a field now I've got a value here and the thing is I'm gonna have two different um, kinds of icons um, I've got a little I'll show them here I've got a little green check and a little red cross and so I'm guessing that for this value, I'm going to select either one of two values and one of them is going to be correct and the other one is going to be like not correct. So I'm going to want my value uh, field here to be just like a drop down list with two different values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create here on my inspector. Make this a bit narrower. I'm going to create a drop down list and I'm going to make a new one and it's going to be um, true or false. Let's use those true, false. Okay, great. Uh, two values. Okay, so now if I exit my layout, I can, oops, there are no records present, so I just make a new record and then I've got either true or false that I can select. So the two options that I've got. Now, um, the reason that this kind of keeps popping back up is because of my tab order. I only have one field, so if I tab out of this field, I get back into that one field. If I want to undo that, I can go to layout, set tab order, and then you can see that this is one. I can just either delete this value or just say clear all. And then let's try this again. Ah, it's still doing it. Okay, then I'm going to do something different. I'm going to say make a script trigger and my script trigger is on object modify. I'll make a new script that says commit record. Commit record and it's going to have a simple commit record request. Step in there. Okay, let's see if that helps because this is not necessary. Okay, great. So true or false. Um, Normally you're not going to have that, that problem because you will have multiple fields on your layout and then when you've uh, changed the value in this field you will just simply tab on to a next field. Okay, so if I have true then I want to show my check mark. If I have false then I want to show my little cross. Now first thing to do then is would be to get those actual icons and there are probably multiple websites where you can go. Icon Finder is one of those websites where you can just go and you could say I want to have a check mark. So you ch uh, look for check and then you can find one of these guys and if you click on it what you have is this one has different sizes and uh, you can download a PNG file which is a pretty good idea because these things kind of contain transparency so the image is going to be like a square but all the white spaces are going to be transparent in your PNG image so you can put this on your layout and you won't have like a white box around it so that's kind of cool. Um, so I've down downloaded two of them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert oops I have to first go into layout mode and then I'm going to insert a picture and the picture I'm going to choose is well I've got two I'm going to do the check and the cross and I don't want to store a reference I just want to get the actual image in there so I'm going to do that I actually don't know if I can insert two pictures at once, but I'll just do them one at a time. So they're pretty huge. I'm going to make them a bit smaller. This one is still in centimeters. I'm going to set this to point. Uh, let's try if I can do it like this. Yep, if I hold my shift key, then I can just kind of make it smaller. 
you know what, I actually don't even have to. This will be big and kind of cool. Um, so when you're downloading these PNG images, uh, you can also kind of select the size. So you could also just go in here and just start already with uh, selecting the correct size because of course uh, the big one that I have is going to take up more space in FileMaker. But well, for this exercise, it doesn't really matter. Now, so the first way you can do this because you can do this two ways is you can, um, and this is a kind of a new feature in FileMaker. Uh, I think since version 14 maybe and that is under the data tab this one is data it says hide object when and you can kind of hide an object like an image uh, depending on a certain condition and that condition could be the value in a field so what we can do is we can uh, we've got the red X selected here and we could say hide this red X when the value is equal to true and what you can see here is uh, icons value just that's the field name that just shows up like that without any quotation marks but a text needs to have quotation marks um, then you know it's a text so that's very important to do that correctly uh, let's hit OK and then let's have a look what happens here when it's true the X disappears and when it's false okay nothing happens yet because this one doesn't have that hide type situation yet hide the check mark when the value of icon is equal to false okay let's see what happens then so if it's false it's a red cross if we say true then it's a green check mark now the only thing we need to do is put these two on top of each other so i'm going to do a line like this and then up like that and then i'm going to exit my layout true false <coughs> Great, so that's one way to go. Now I'm going to test something out. What if I delete this value? Then both of them show up. So that's kind of a problem. Um, so I want to do maybe a little more. I'm going to go here. I want to hide my object when that value is true and when icon's value is empty. So is empty icon's value. And that actually has to happen the same for this one. And I could just copy that from here. And let's paste that in here. Okay, let's try and find out. Okay. That is not uh, cool because they are not. Oh, yeah, maybe instead of and I should do or. Or let's see if that works. Or so you have your and or and there as well. Let's try this out. Okay, now there's nothing. Now it's true. It's false. Okay, cool. That looks better. So let's put them on top of each other again. Let's do this and let's do that. Okay, cool. So this is kind of cool, and this is one way to go about doing this. Um, but this might be a little limited. Now, first of all, the annoying thing is that you have these multiple icons on top of each other and you have to kind of make sure that you get all of the uh, height object conditional stuff uh, correctly here. So this could be kind of uh, difficult and annoying. And it also could be a little uh, limiting. What if you want to have a bunch of different values and all of those values have different kinds of images and maybe those images change sometimes, then it, this uh, system, uh, this way of doing this becomes a bit of a nightmare. But we can make uh, a different um, kind of system work for us. So let's do, um, let's go to file manage database. What we could do is we could create a new table, a table with icons and then store our icons in there and then um, we can use that. Now the annoying thing is that I had already named this one icons which is not really good. Let's rename this one value. Let's change that and then let's make my icons field uh, table because that's where I'm going to store my icons. Okay so let's do a ID field which is a number field which is going to be set to automatically have a serial number. Then it needs to have a value which is a text field and then it needs to have an icon which will be a container field. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is an command R for container. Okay so I have an ID, a value and a container. Cool. 
cool 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 now and when we hit ok we've got our icons table right here so we can just uh, make a new one and then let's say the value is true then the icon uh, let's insert a picture it should be the check and false should be the cross and then we can add a whole bunch of other stuff like if we want we could do a smiley for instance those are weird looking smileys but oh yeah this is a cool one and let's make the take the big one let's save this as png and let's save this under a uh, little file here icons and let's do smiley PNG okay cool so now I can make a new one and I can make this one smiley and then I can insert a picture smiley great now when I go back to my icons what I could also do and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a new layout for this file because it's a different or no I can just add that to this layout it's fine um, what I'm gonna do is Shall I use this field? Yeah, I'll use that field. Let's edit the layout. Let's make a copy. So let's alt drag this one down. Um, so it's basically the same thing. This one also has a drop down, but let's do another drop down. Let's um, do the icon values. And then what we can do is we can get all the values from my table of icons. So from my icons, I'm going to get value and I'm going to include all the values. That's good. If I do that, then I will have false, smiley or true. They are alphabetical. So there you go. See, now this one is kind of messed up again when I select smileys because that doesn't really work. OK, so what I can do now is go to File, Manage Database. And the thing that's happening is when I set a value in my value, that value is actually coming from here. So if I select a value, that value is going to be equal to a value in here. So I can just make a relationship between the two value fields. And then when I select a value here, we will see only the record in the icons table where the value is the same as the value selected here. And that's always going to match because the drop down is based on this. Does it sound confusing? It actually is pretty simple. So what we can do now is when we are on the value table, we can simply display the icon image and it's only going to show the image for the record where the value is seen the same as the value there. So very simple relationship. And then we can just simply edit our layout and add a field. And the field that we're going to add is not from the value table itself. We are on a layout based on the value table, but we're going to add one from a related table because you see this icons is now a related table and we're just going to show the icon. I don't need a label for this. So let's uncheck this. Now I've got like a big uh, box here. I should probably uh, 128 by 128. That sounds like a good size. Yep. Okay. Something like that. And then let's see what happens. Our value, our uh, image kind of shows up. There's one difference though, what I said before about um, the images as and that something you can see here, I've got my image and the background, uh, there is no white square behind it. Now this does have a white square behind it, which is not that cute, but that doesn't have anything to do with the image that has something to do with the field itself. I can go in here and basically say that uh, my fill should not be a solid color, but should be none. And then my line should also be like none or I can uncheck it here. And then as you can see, uh, this looks better. My check marks, my uh, X's and my smileys, everything shows up nicely done without um, without the background or any of that stuff. So this is becomes extremely flexible then because at any time you want, you can go and I have to uh, rename file manage layouts. This one is now based on value. So I'll just rename this one to value. So now I can at any time I want, I can go into my icons uh, table and I can just make a new record. And let's see, um, I can just get back into my icons situation here. Let's um, look for a, what else can I look for? I don't really even know, browse. 
can I browse icons? Um, yeah, you can look. Oh, this one is fun. Oh yeah, great. Uh, pick. Oh, you need to buy this. Oh, damn. Doesn't matter. Let's look for a pig icon because now I want one. Piggy. <laughs> these are all premium looks. Oh yeah, these are free. Oh, this one is awesome. Okay. Or oh, that monster is cool too. Okay, 128 by 128. I can store a pig icon. Very simple. Just save it. And then I can just create a new pig record here. Insert the picture of our pig. Sweet. And now I can just go back to my value here. And my pig now shows up because that value list is basically being populated by all the values that I have in my um, icon table and if I select it boom there's my pig super flexible uh, as a developer you can just set this up once and then your users can just go crazy with it and do whatever with it that they want add as many icons as they want and then it always just works so this is good design this is possible as well maybe in some situations but it could uh, in some situations get you kind of stuck very quickly all right so I hope that was helpful and I'll see you guys again soon ciao if you guys want to learn a ton more about FileMaker, you can head over to my Udemy page where I've got a bunch of entire FileMaker courses online. You can follow them and basically we make entire FileMaker systems from scratch and I'll take you uh, on the entire process step by step. There is even one that is uh, completely free, so you can just follow that free of charge and that is a beginner tutorial where we make an entire contacts database. Um, that's a really fun one that you can follow that can teach you the basics of FileMaker. So head over there by following the links in the description and I'll see you guys there.